Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is uh, Sunday the 10th of November and it's a seemingly another sunny cold day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Um, beautiful weather but very cold right now. A um, couple of things I want to talk about today. First is I'm gonna, I haven't loaded up yet and what I'm gonna get, what I'm gonna be having here is, there we go, not Carter Hall, but some um, LJ Peretti Thanksgiving Day, and I got it. These Carter Hall tubs are great uh, for storing tobacco, so don't throw them away. Uh, if you haven't seen Thanksgiving Day before, there it is. It comes in a loosely pressed cake, and I'm gonna break off a chunk of that right there. And I just kind of give it a little twist as I'm loading it in the pipe, and that's typically good enough to break it up get it down in there Good. so I'm excited about this because and I don't know if you can tell I've already sampled it it's, it was probably about that big when I got it so I probably had about six balls now so I last reviewed this back in I believe it was 2016 I could be wrong about that yeah, I think it was 2016, and I'll I'll link to that to that review. And uh, you know, it it disappointed me. Uh, no, no, 2016 was good. I'm sorry, 2016 was the year that I really liked it, and I talked about all the flavors and everything. 2017, I ordered it again, and it was flat. It didn't have any of these sort of cinnamon and and nutmeg notes that I that I really enjoyed in the in the earlier incarnations. And uh, this year. I got a message from my good friend Couch saying you should give it a try. It's it's like it was before, and sure enough, it is. the uh, The flavors are back, and I'm quite excited about it. If you don't know, uh, Thanksgiving blend is something that Peretti puts out. Thanksgiving Day is something that Peretti puts out every year. Uh, it becomes available the last day of October, and when it's gone, it's gone. It's always the same blend, except for the years when it wasn't. Uh, a burley based blend definitely has some really nice woody burleys in it. But what I like about it is there's all these sort of um, spice notes, and I mean spice in a baking spice sense, not in a hot spice sense. Uh, you know, notes of like cardamom, cinnamon, nutmeg. Uh, I think it was Sergeant Savinelli who said that he got bergamot out of it. I don't really get that. I don't get any anise or licorice. But it's it's delicious, and I'm really glad that it's back to what it used to be. So if you're interested, there, it's, it's still available, I believe. Uh, so go out and get yourself some. And if you watched that earlier impression video that I did that I will link to um, it, this is essentially the same as it was back in 2016 so you can get all the information there so I had a couple things I wanted to talk about today first is I want to do a shout out and I want to do a shout out to Corvette Jim Piper I'm sure many of you know Corvette Jim Piper uh, great guy um, I really enjoy his videos uh, so I'm going to link below to his channel, and if you don't have him subbed, please go and check him out and give him a sub. Uh, he's a really nice guy. And Corvette Jim Piper does uh, pipe restoration work. And he's currently, uh, just well, recently, he started making his pipes available on eBay under the name uh, CJP underscore rescue. And the reason I'm bringing this up, I and mean, I don't normally do uh, do this kind of promotional stuff for people, but... This I was really impressed today. I looked at his um, eBay site. I haven't talked to Jim about this at all. I, just, I hope he doesn't mind that I'm doing it. But I looked at his eBay site, and I was really impressed with not only the the quality of the pipes and the, and the, clearly the the restoration work that he's done is 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 stunning. I mean, you can you can buy these pipes and smoke them right away. They they're they're going to be like new. But uh, there's some real good value there. Uh, he's got quite a few pipes that are in the ten to twenty dollar range. Uh, he's got a beautiful Savinelli that 
I'm seriously considering bidding on, but uh, but probably not because I just don't need another pipe. But the seven LE is really really something. So so go take a look. I'll I'll link below to Corvette Jim Piper's um, YouTube channel, and I will also link to his eBay um, eBay listings if I can. Uh, I'll, I hope I can do that. I haven't tried it before, so we'll see how that goes. So check the, the uh, description for, for those links. And at a minimum, please go and give him a sub because you'll enjoy what, uh, what, what he, he has to say. So the other sort of big topic for today is to make up for a video that I tried to make on Thursday. Um, you probably have seen, or if you haven't, uh, you can go see my uh, car video that I made on Thursday where I was not refilling my letter, where I was talking about um, romanticism and pipe smoking. And that video was made as I was driving back from the Little Lehigh River. And I said at the beginning of it that I had made another video and it would be posting and all that. Well, it turns out. that I did make a video and I think it would have been a very good video but for the fact that I forgot to turn on the sound so there was no sound so I'm gonna briefly discuss what I wanted to discuss in that video explain why it was and you'll see some footage here just because some of the footage was too nice to, to get rid of I mean, it's a it was a beautiful spot although it was a rainy day uh, and there's a covered bridge here that I really want to talk a bit about. So the reason I went to Little Lehigh that day was that that was the day, for those of you that don't know, um, I'll give a little bit of backstory. At the end of, uh, well, at the beginning of 2016, January 2016, I was diagnosed with, with cancer. Uh, and it was actually breast cancer, which is something that's very rare in men, but men do get it. Uh, something like one in 1,000 to one in 2,000, but it does happen. And what's terrible about breast cancer in men is that we are not taught to look for it. So I got very, very lucky, uh, and I'll explain that more, but I want to I wanna first explain why I was at the Little Lehigh River. So I don't want to get too far off on a tangent here. So it was the end of, in January of 2016 when I was diagnosed, by February of 2016, I had had surgery, and by the end of February, I had begun chemotherapy. And I was, I did, uh, I think it was eight rounds of chemotherapy. I think that's right. It's funny how you forget these things. And then I did radiation after that. So it wasn't until October of 2016. No, no, the, it was the end of 2016. It was December that it was actually done with treatments. Now, there is still some oral medication that I need to take for five to ten years, depending on uh, how things look. So, yesterday was my second annual uh, scan to see if I, you know, see what's going on. And it was good. Uh, there's been absolutely no changes. Uh, I was thrilled, and it, it, was, it was a huge relief, obviously. But that's great, because the closer I get to that five-year uh, mark, uh, the more likely it is that I beat this. So I'm very excited about that. Now, the truth is, beating it is one thing, like surviving the treatment is another, and I got, I still, I'm still not back to where I was before I, I got sick. You know, I'm still, I need to exercise more. I, I, I've got a lot of pain uh, that's been caused by the treatments, and I, I need to just overcome that. Uh, I am taking some medication for it, which is helping a lot. And I just, I need to get back to where I was. I went after, I think it might have been the first, maybe the second chemo treatment. Um, I went to the Little Lehigh River and I made a video. And I didn't talk about that. I, I just, I was close by. I liked Little Lehigh and I thought it was a good place to make a video. And I thought it would be fitting after getting that news to uh, return to that site. And so I did. Uh, spent some time walking along. Uh, saw this very uh, nice covered bridge, which I knew was there, but had never shown it in a video, and uh, went up on it and showed some of the, the joinery. Uh, and it's remarkable considering this bridge is, I, I think I calculated it to be 180 some years old. Um, the joinery is perfect. It looks like it was just put together yesterday. 
no seams, no movement. It just just remarkable to to see what what people could do with you know tools that today we would consider primitive, uh, although they were quite workable. So the main reason I wanted to bring this up was not to sort of get everybody to say, "Oh, congratulations" and all that. In fact, I'd rather you didn't. Um, what I would much rather you do, and I'm talking to the men out there because the men never get this message. Take the time that you would take to congratulate me or say you're happy for me. I appreciate that you are. But instead of doing that, do a Google search, search on YouTube, and look for uh, male breast examination, look for um, male testicle examination. Testicular cancer is also another killer of men. Learn to examine yourself and do it. Do it frequently. Because I was very lucky. The um, I, I thought I had pulled a muscle in my uh, shoulder, chest area. And I was trying to like stretch that and I was rubbing it and I felt something odd. Went to the doctor the next day, uh-oh, this is something we better look into and before you know it. The truth is, multiple doctors have told me the tumor that I had was very, very small and could not have caused pain. The pain was a pulled muscle. Pain went away before the tumor was taken out. So. I got really lucky because we're not taught to check for these things and most guys don't discover that they have breast cancer until it's stage four and at that point you've got months. So please take my advice, go and learn to, to do the self-checking and do it. So thank you for putting up with that uh, little public service announcement but it's something that I'm really passionate about because it saved my life. Um, moving on from that, uh, shop update, I got some real good news. I think on Wednesday you're going to be seeing a video on the shop announcing uh, the reopening of Cane Rod Pipes. It's, uh, it's not exactly 100%, but it's pretty darn close and definitely workable. I got some more, I've been working down here all weekend, I got some more work to do today. Uh, fortunately the Eagles aren't playing today, so I can skip the football uh, but yeah it's uh, it's 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 coming along nicely I'm, I'm pretty excited uh, to show it all to you so look for that hopefully Wednesday um, if not Wednesday maybe Thursday we'll just have to see how how things go so with that folks I want to thank you all for uh, for, for tuning in uh, go check out Corvette Jim Piper uh, give him a sub look at his eBay page He's got really good bargains there and uh, if you're in the market for a nice pipe, he's got some really nice ones. And check yourself. Take care, friends. And until we speak again, I look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.